the Graves Motorsports Fender Eliminator Kit for the 2024 Kawasaki Ninja 500. So we're going to do this install. It goes pretty quick, about 30 minutes to do the job. I really like this kit. It comes with a little license plate light and the ability to mount the stock turn signals. I like the top, the stock turn signals, mostly because I'm usually speeding. And when the, uh, when the constable gets behind me, I, I want to look as legal as possible. So you can see that kit there. So we'll start by removing the rear passenger seat. And then there's a flap here of a trunk. We just lift that up. And there's four Allen heads here. We're gonna just remove those. And then before I remove the fourth one, I'm gonna disconnect these wires here. The wire for the tail light, you can just reach right down here, you'll see them. And then the one for each turn signal. And then one for the license plate running light. And you'll see there's this uh, little rubber grommet here. We're gonna just save this because we're gonna reuse that. So now that we got the wires out, we're gonna remove this last Allen bolt, or at least we're going to back it all the way out. And we can just guide this down and let it hang here for a sec. And then we're going to slide these wires out one at a time. And now I'm going to push this rubber grommet up into the tail section. You can see it up here now. See it around the wires there. Now that we've got that up high enough, we can just slide the rubber grommet off of the wires. You'll see it's just naturally designed to slip in after the wires. All right? See that with a slit in it? Now we can pull the wires out one at a time. And the unit comes out whole. I'm going to save this because we're going to reuse this wire, this rubber grommet too. And now we're going to remove these turn signals. Feed these wires out. And we've got to loosen up this cage. So we'll just get a 10 wrench here.
got one last one to do. Take a Phillips head screwdriver, come in here at an angle. It really would be nice if you had a, an angled, right angle screwdriver, but you can do it with a long straight. Pull that off. Take the lock tab out. Same thing on the other side. Now you have these little, um, this prevents this from flexing and letting the turn signal pop out. The other piece locks this in place. Pop that one out. Pop that one out. Now there's still a little plastic piece that's down inside these and I just use a little pick to slide them out. This gives it rigidity and stops it from uh, falling out as well. Found those on each side. And now you can just sort of twist and pull and the turn signal pops right out. And a little twist and pull. Very nice, very light. And uh, people can see them. I, I like the stop turn signals on my street bike. Okay, one thing we're going to need for the license plate light is you don't have to do it this way, but this is how we like to do it. And we give you two of these solder wires here. The license plate light, if you choose to use it, is an LED, and these wires are directional. So with an LED, if for some reason you hook it up, and you don't, uh, and the lights don't light up, that's because you have the positive and negative flipped. So the best thing to do is, before you um, heat these solderless uh, connectors together and splice them into these wires, is make sure you have it hooked up correctly. But if you go red to red and black to black, it'll work. So some people might get a little scared at this point because you got to cut your wires. But I like to have the stock connector to go straight from this right to the stock wiring harness. It's nice, it's clean. So, so next I'll take the uh, pre-assembled Graves fender eliminator and I'm going to install the turn signals. And I'm going to put the right on the right and the left on the left and it's pretty easy to tell so you've got a drain hole. So you always know the drain hole is down to the bottom. This is going to be your left turn signal. You're going to reinstall this the same way that you remove the other one. You can use a little bit of lube when you install these and it will help. Or you can just have really strong fingers and fold the rubber in there. You decide which way you want to go. <laughs> I try to get the square in first and then just rotate it. That's pretty simple to do. So you get that in, slip the wire in the tapered plastic cone here, slide the cone in, it's back in place now. Slip one of the lock tabs here, get it in the groove, Snap that back in. The locking mechanism back in.
Do the same thing with the other side. goes to the inside. See the cone's got a little bit of a taper on it. So Okay, now that that's in place. Now I'm gonna do this license plate light. I like to have the license plate light installed on here. So, get two of these. You can, you can activate these with uh, a hair dryer or just a heat gun. But these, these shrink down over the wires and then you have a wire go through either side of this center piece of solder. And then when you heat it up, the solder melts and, and this shrink wraps over it and you're set. But just to make sure you got your wires and set up correctly before you seal them up, we're gonna run this thing through and we'll just twist them together, plug it in, make sure it works before we actually seal the wires to our connector. So I'm just going to run these license plate light wires through the little hole. Again, I don't know that it's really necessary to have this light. A lot of guys just leave it out. Um, you have pretty good light from the tail light on your license plate, but it depends on what state you live in or what the constables think in your area. But So you can just take this. It's got double-sided tape and it sticks right here. It's nice and tidy and clean and figure your license plate's gonna be lined up here. Just put it a little bit a little bit higher in case you have a license plate frame or something. Uh, I like to do it in advance, or you can wait till afterwards and, and button it up later. But um, I'm gonna button it up now. I kinda of know what I want. Right there, just a little bit above. Now I'm going to reinstall this on the bike uh, before I put the license plate on and we're going to um, feed all this through the rubber grommet that we took it out of. We're going to put it right back the way we took it apart. It's nice and tidy. Now we are going to replace the, the stock the stock plate is held on by these nuts on this big heavy metal part. See those? We're going to replace those nuts with the nuts, the nylon nuts come in the bag and grave kit. So we're going to use the stock bolts going into these. Pretty simple to do. I'm gonna get my wires prepared. Remember how this goes. You can see this has a little cutout in the plastic here, stock from the factory. So this is this is actually going to be like this, so that the wires come out the back. So when we go to slide it in, we're going to do that. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to route our wires up.
got that in a good place. Get a couple of our bolts. And we'll just put one on the finger tight here to get it in place. Second one to keep it located. Two of those in place. We'll get the other two in place. These are nice and tidy. They're just long enough to go to the nylon in the nut to lock into place so they won't back off when you're out riding. But they're not so long that the bolt sticks through them, so they look real Santa. Next, take that rubber grommet we talked about. Remember, these three pieces, you know, the little cutaways for the wires facing back. Just wrap your wires in there. And then you can just guide this straight down back into the slot that it came out of. tidy little seal. Really happy Kawasaki put this grommet in with the OEM. Makes it uh, makes for a nice tidy fit. Keeps all that crud water from getting up in your tail section. Hey, you'll know you've got it right. You can see it's all the way down here. The wires are well, just give your wires a little nudge just to get them all in the right location and make sure you don't have too much sticking sticking out. Just pull on them a little bit up here. And you'll know you got all that nice and tidy. Push back down on the grommet. Now we're good. The other grommet is this this one here that goes in this slot and then it just once you get everything connected you drive it back in there but we'll put that back in a minute the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to make sure we have this going in the right direction 
before we seal it up. And we're gonna cut it to length because it's pretty long. So this wire for the license plate light is pretty long and I don't really want to bundle it all up. So I've cut the end off the stock license plate light and I've trimmed the, the sheathing back. So I've got the red and black wires exposed. So I've kind of got an idea how long I want this to be. I'm going to trim this back. And then I'll just do the same thing here with these wires before I do the solder install. And again, it's going to be red to red and black to black. I'm going to just take the seat gun. You can see I've got the silver and the copper wires here. I've got the two wires crossing over the solder here. And then you can see the shrink, shrink wrap solder is starting to shrink around the wires and hold them in place. Once that's held in place, you can just put a little more heat on it. You just go until you see that you'll see that solder is going to fall right into place there. See that? There you go. Now you can see the solder is melted over the wires. Now that's a good connection. You don't have to worry about that. And we'll repeat that on the black wire. So now I've got, uh, got my connections put together, got my leads here, standard grommet kind of keeps these wires protected, keeps them bunched up, set that in, Let's, we'll reconnect our turn signals. license plate light and we'll be golden a little bit tight down in here but it's better than pulling the entire tail section apart there's no need to do that And if you inadvertently disconnected your tail light, you should plug that back in and test your lights before you go any further. Make sure everything is put back in place the way it was meant to be. So we'll uh, close our lid. And we got our tail light, we got a license plate light, a brake light, left turn signal, right turn signal, no oddball flashing, very nice and tidy. Put our, put our seat back on, and we can install our license plate. And the license plate installed. Nice, tidy. Leave a look.